Hi guys, so to start, we're gonna start by making the handles for the purse. And what I've done here is um, I have two 12 foot cords. So the very first one and the very last one. And I have two eight foot cords. Now it's really important that these outer two are the 12 foot cords because those are the ones that are gonna be doing all the knotting. And as you can see, I'll just show you, they're all even on this end. So I've gone down with them still in order and I taped it off at exactly 42 inches. So this part that's going to be left out is 42 inches long and I'm just going to place it over there. And so once more, because I know this is confusing, I've taped it off for where we're going to start to begin our knots at 42 inches. These two are going to be the longer ones because they were measured at 12 feet and the center two are going to be the shorter of the ones that are eight feet long. Okay, I've double checked and made sure that these are the longer ones. That part up there coming out is 42 inches. I've taped everything in place and we're just going to start by making a series of square knots. So the left one over the center two, take the far right one. finish the square knot we're going to go from the right take that left one behind the loop So as you can see, I've done all 20 square knots and I've gone ahead and I have done the exact same thing for the second handle. So now to make the body of the bag, we're going to be making some of these floating square knots and I've taken my two colored cords and you can do this freehand or you can do it on pins like I'm going to do just because it's easier to demonstrate this way. So I found the exact center point of both cords and hung them on the pins. And I'm just simply going to make square knots just like we normally would. I'm just going to slip those off. So you can see that's where we're at. And you can leave them like that. But for this bag, I'm just going to pull those bump downs. Give them an extra tug. So in total, we are going to make um, 24 of these floating square knots with whichever colored cord you'd like. Okay, so now you can see I've put four of those square knots here, four here, and four here. And I've left a little space for where we are going to be placing the handle portion. So I'm going to line up that last square knot with these ones. So there you go. And if you want to, you can make that a little bit longer. Um, adding a few more knots, but for myself, I just really like the length of this one. So now we're going to start to connect the entire body together, and we're going to take two from this one, two from this one, leaving out the first two cords. And we're just going to make alternating square knots, and it's going to naturally taper down into sort of a V, and that's exactly what we want.
Okay, so now that I have completed this V shape with the alternating square knots, um, I'm gonna do the exact same steps with the other half of our cord. So making four here with these, adding the handle in there, four and four, and then we're gonna attach the two pieces together. So as you can see, I finished that second piece up. I've pinned them all into place so that it's lined up and we're just gonna use square knots and we're just gonna fill in this entire area here. Now I filled in the entire center part there and connected both sides of the bag. And um, this length right here will basically determine the length of our bag. So if you wanna stop here and just have a short, smaller bag, um, you can do that. But for myself, I'm just gonna make a few more rows of those square knots coming down. Once more, they will be alternating, so connecting the above two and tapering inwards. Okay, so I've brought the rows down. I did another six rows of alternating square knots. Um, so in total, I have 20 rows of square knots coming down. And again, this is where you can customize it. You can make it shorter if you'd like, longer. It's up to you, that's whatever your preference is. And now we're going to join the opposite sides. So once we've lined everything up and we make sure that these are all lined up, the handles are lined up, we are just gonna do the exact same thing as we did on the opposite side. And we're gonna start to fill in this area using the alternating square knot.
So the entire bottom part is all filled in on both sides the whole way around. We've done 20 rows of the square knots. Now we're going to work on the bottom part. So I folded it in exactly in half so that everything's lined up. We have four of the colored here, four of the colored cords or square knots there, and four square knots up here. So we are going to count over one and two. So on that second one out, we're going to follow it the way down. And it takes us to in between these two. So basically the first full one and just a little bit. So I'm just going to mark that off, grab the four cords there because we're going to be joining these two together. So two from here, two from here. And then I'm going to do the same on this side so that I know when to stop, uh, stop doing my knots across. So I'm going to go one and two. I'm going to follow it down. And I will just mark that off by putting that over. So now I'm going to start by just making some rows of the square knots, alternating square knots, only from here to here. So these two and in between them, and we're going to leave the rest out. Okay, so I have done the one, two, three, four rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There should be seven square knots at the bottom. I've done that the exact same way on both sides now. So that's the front and the back flap. And now we're gonna do this side. So I'm going to have to arrange this a little bit strange so that I can show you. Okay, I think this is a better angle. So now for both of the sides, we should have these openings here. So one, two, three, four, and five across the top. So we're just gonna do one, two, three, four for the first row.
done the V coming down as well as the other ones. Um, I've done it on both sides. As you can see, we're going to start to close up the bottom. I'm going to try my best to do this at a good angle so that you guys can see it properly. So we're going to close up this area first and I'm going to take these very first two cords coming out from up here and these are going to be my filler cords and then I'm going to take the rest and I'm going to make sure that they're all out here so that we don't lose any on the inside by mistakenly skipping them. So as I said, the very first two will be the filler and then I'm going to take the next two cords and I'm going to make a square knot. I'm going to close it nice and tight and then with those two working cords I'm just going to put them outside. And you can hear my pug in the background. He's trying to have a nap but I keep waking him up. Sorry about that. Um, okay and now we're going to take the very next two cords that come out. We're going to do the same thing and we're going to pull it nice and tight so that it starts to close up that gap. Now once we get to where this square knot is at the bottom, as well as this one over here, we're just going to take the one uh, closest to the middle, and this is going to be our last knot for this corner. So that's the first one. And now we're going to work our way around and we're going to do it to all four, the exact same thing to all four of the corners. Okay, so I've done the one, two, three, and four corners, and now we're gonna close up the center part. And how we're gonna do it is, as you can see, I've already pushed out all the cords, oops, almost all the cords, to the outside. Again, this is so that we don't miss any cords while we're knotting, although you can skip a couple if you find it's bunching up too much. So I'm going to take two of the longest cords that I can um, from these first two coming out here. Those are going to be my um, filler cords and then I'm going to use all of these outside ones to do the same method. So using those square knots, pulling them nice and tight to close the entire bottom. <laughs> 